HelloBroadway.com. This is several time Grammy Award winning recording artist Adele. I just came back from vocal surgery and I'm doing very well. The ENT, which is also known as the ear, nose and throat doctor, gave me a picture of my insides and told me that my vocal cords are doing very well. However, they're a little swollen in the outside, but that's due to fatigue. But besides that, I don't have any polyps, no nodes, no nothing. So thank you for your fan letters. I'm here as Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark to figure out how these artists do it eight times a week. I want to know what is their routine. Do they live like nuns? How do they prepare for the show vocally, physically, and mentally? Oh, Adele, oh my god, I didn't realize for a second that it was you. Yes, it is. Now, who is the singing? Is this uh, Maxwell? No, this is Eric Benet. Oh! I rotate between rock, pop, Whitney Houston, reggae. Okay. Wait. Pauses, but I'll play you my the real warm-up song. So you warm up to Eric Benet? No, I play something quietly and I do a lot of and try and go a lot higher than I sing in the show and a lot lower than I sing in the show. Have you ever had nodes or polyps or any vocal damage no, in the past? No, I have not. Very good for you. Yes. Um, but I, in Rock of Ages before, that could have very possibly happen, so I have to be very careful. Now, how does that happen for you? I mean, were you sleeping a lot? Were you just Voice bad dieting? Rest. Oh, I see. And it got... <laughs> <laughs> I see. Thank you, Rebecca. You're welcome. It's true. So wait, what do you do, actually? Because some people say not to whisper. Because if Whispering's you whisper... Whispering is worse. Okay. Whispering's worse. So because how do you say your voice? a lot of your swelling comes because air is passing through your cords. If you're singing improperly. Yeah, I don't talk. I just mouth things. But a lot of times people go like that because they think you're whispering. Right. But you're not. Very good. Mm -hmm. I like your whole method, too. It's very nice. It's it's something really to learn from. Oh, let me see. And it's your physical warm-up. <laughs> Give it to me. Let me see. This is called Soka Music. Thank you, Rebecca oh, Falkenberry. <laughs> I love you. And have a good show, okay? Thanks, Adele. You too, because you're singing again now. You're, you're all fixed. Yes, I'm all fixed. I'm all ready. Take care of this, singers. I promise. Important. This here is our band room. Most of the brass players are actually warming up their instruments. Even the... What's the uh, purpose of warming up? Uh, just the same as it is for stretching with like for a dancer or something. You gotta, you gotta, you know, get these muscles all, you know, ready to go. This here is our second band room. I love the sweet sound of warming up. I have a question for you. What is the purpose of warming up your guitar? Well, it's my fingers, first of all, need to warm up so I can play everything correctly and execute everything properly. And, and then I want to make sure my guitars are playing well, like the strings are in tune and everything is set up the way it's supposed to be set up. We all have a lot of guitars, so we have to check them all. We've got to make sure our amps are running right. You have a lot of guitars. Oh, guitars. I see. It's a lot of guitars. And uh, we want to make sure that all our sounds are right and, and everything's running correctly because we all have a lot of different sounds that we play. Perfection. Yeah. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Dwayne Clark. Hello, hello, hello. You are working it out. Yes. You are a delicious chocolate man. <laughs> Look at the beads of sweat on your arms. Yeah, I'm trying to get a good sweat in before the show. This is how I get my body ready. I kind of do a little P90X. Mixed with little insanity. And does this help your voice in any way, doing something physically? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah? How so? Well, a lot of people say that if your body's warm, then your voice is warm. Okay. Especially, especially if you're kind of saying high voice and stuff. I see. Sometimes it makes it a little easier for your body to be a little warm, you know? Wow. Adam, tell me exactly what you're doing in this Spidey costume. <laughs> well, I'm warming up to fight the Green Goblin. Okay. Uh, which is at the end of Act 2. 
and Spider-Man jumps off the balconies and lands uh, in between the audience members in the aisles. So I see. I warm up my legs, um, roll them out on this roller. Okay, it seems to be a very popular thing here. Yes. The roller. Everyone loves the roller. I think it's because the Spidey poses um, put a lot of pressure on your lower back and your IT bands and your hips. Okay. Because um, he's always in in like low crouched positions. I see. Um, this is uh, to really work on our core and our strength at the same time, so we can balance up against the wall here and do these kind of inverted pull-ups. I see. Strengthen our back and our arms. It almost seems like you never stop working out. I mean, <laughs> I mean, we're clearly in between shows right now. Um, yeah, right. The show's actually happening upstairs, and you're still warming up. Just because there's, um, in, the, in Act 2, there's long pauses between physical exertion, so to stay warm is to stay safe. You just got to keep the blood flowing. Wow, thank you. Thank you for showing me the room. I really appreciate it, Adam. Absolutely, thank you. Okay, normally Reed Kelly, you're getting ready for the show. This is where I normally do my 50 push-ups okay. before we do Labyrinth, which is where all of the Spider-Man dance together. I see. So, um... I've forgotten what number I'm on right now, so we're gonna say that I'm almost a hundred, a hundred, a hundred. But yeah, this is what I do to uh, to get ready for the last part of my show. Perfection. You look stunning. Thanks. Good luck out there. Show me what you do. Show me what you do. Oh, my. And some of this. Gosh. <laughs> Just stunning. <laughs> Thank you, Max Reed. Don't and call me, call me. I'll call you twice. Thank you. A day. So this is like a normal dancer position, stretch, what have you. And then sometimes I like go through the door, you know, and I just stay here and I talk to my dressers. But I stretch, you know, get my stretch on for the show so I can do like things like DIY and freak and stuff like that. But this is what all the dancers do. We always take up all this space. It's a very beautiful leg. And then I go down to the door, you know, give myself a little stretch this way too. Woo. Very nice, Io. That's what I call a stretch. Hello, Drew. What are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm stretching a little bit. You're stretching? Yeah. In, during the show? During the show, yeah. So you constantly stretch during the show? I do. Yeah. That's amazing. This Let me see what you're doing. This is one of my longer doing. breaks, so I try to take advantage of it. I see. And what is this called here? Right here? Yes. This is a foam roller. Amazing. And what does that do? Uh, it kind of, it's kind of a self-massage. can roll out your legs. It's really good for the legs, IT bands. Amazing. And, and give me an example. Like, your IT bands is on the side of your legs? Yeah, on the side of my legs. Okay. It, it hurts like... I can say that on camera. <laughs> It's okay, you can say whatever you want. It is it a children's like show. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> like that, man. Very nice. And that feels good to you. Yeah. Well, no, that's I wouldn't say it feels good. It's a it's a good pain. And why does your IT bands get tight? I don't understand. Because he's old. Because I'm old. Because you're old. Okay. I'm old. I understand. Of, comes with old age. Comes with old age. It's very good. Thank you, Drew. You're welcome, Adele. Tell me about your preparation for Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark. Sure. So, um, I'm a swing here at Spider-Man, which means that I cover six different roles, and at any moment I can be thrown on for any of those. Um, and it's kind of hard because you know as a swing you're bound to mess something up, and that can really sort of mess with your self-esteem if you don't really prepare yourself for it. So, what I like to do is just take a moment and look myself right in the eye, and um, give myself some inspirational quotes, um, as cheesy as that might sound. So it, it goes a little something like this. <sighs> you are a talented, capable, brilliant performer. You are a beautiful human being full of love and light and charisma. You are going to go out there and do the best job you can, and that's all you can do. And that's, that's what you're paid to do. <sighs> I love you.